general seems there are some moments when I want to break the rules because I do want to have a cleavage occasionally. And although I can wear many more tops than you can, sorry, darling, oh, no. um, I would like to sometimes wear that deep V you wear and just like the one you're wearing. That would be much better on me than it is on you. Well, at the moment, I look like I have two rather deflated balloons, but that's why I brought this to try out. Uh, the Wonder Bra. Uh -huh. Isn't that nice? But it's kind of, you can control your cleavage with this little clever thing. So I've pulled it up to the max, okay, like that, and I've got extra padding. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm. So I thought I'd just shove that over my little deflated balloons and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Go for it, girl. Okay. Now, you see here... You might think, oh, look at that rather fabulous cleavage. And then you look a bit further down and you realize there is an explosion of flesh going on. My jugs look like two kind of pints of beer with the froth spilling out the top. I don't have one pair of tits, actually. I've got one, two, three pairs. Now, is that a good look? Do you really think that is a good look? And this is because the bra I'm wearing is about four cup sizes too small. And all of you out there, you need to go and get your boobs checked out, get the size checked out, because invariably you're going to be wearing the wrong size bra. And if you think it's bad from the front, look at the back. Just look at the back. My fat is spilling over the top because the strap's too tight. I mean, excuse me, but... Look, look. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I'm like nearly jealous. Down. It's amazing how when you have... I'm so unused to wearing a bra, but when you have a bra on, you have that feeling of holding the back. But I could be, what do you think I am? Do you think I'm a C cup? Yeah, you could be a C cup in that. I could, could And I? you've got, I mean, it's like, they're not, I hate it when boobs are pushed too close together. Yeah. Like mine. I don't like that ravine, which is, But that's because you've naturally close. got big boobs, yeah. because I've got little like, boobs. Like, that is fab. They can't get that close together, because there isn't that enough of them. Yeah. You see? Really I'm very fab. happy with that. What about you? I mean, I am actually quite gobstermite. Thank you. No, I really am. It's okay, I know you're not acting. You've got to do that all the time. And it's good, isn't it? Well, just sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I do like that flat chest a moment, but yeah. for the occasional. It's nice to have the flexibility. But so you couldn't chop your breasts off. No, no. Okay. You can go either that. or. But, you yeah. know, there are wonder bras that are lacy, so you could make this mistake too now, mm -hmm. which is wearing a dark bra that is also lacy under a T-shirt. I'm going to mm. put it on to show you. Okay. I might just increase the size of my breasts while she's gone away because I've also got those lovely chicken fillets and they're not chicken fillets, they're not from a chicken, they're called that because they feel a bit like a fillet of chicken but they're made from silicone, okay, so I've got to get them the right way around and I always forget this but I think it's that curvy bit at the bottom. So you shove them in your boob and when you put them in, put them between your bra and your nip and push your nip up because then you'll get even more of a cleavage as I'm going to show you. One day in here, I feel like I've got so much pain, I mean look at that! That is a Bet Lynch moment. But I have to say, because I naturally have a very flat chest, it's kind of been a bit sun damaged. So I look a bit, I look a bit sort of aged in the middle there. I do look like they're fake breasts, don't they? I mean, you must be very careful also you don't show anything. So it's all right to see the bra, but some people make the mistake and they have that silicone <laughs> popping out, which is a really bad look. But God, it's amazing. Suze, look at the difference. Well, look at that. you mentioning barmaid, and I think that is slightly wishful thinking. Yes, they, are, they are magnificent. Yeah, Those are two magnificent torpedoes. Thank you. Who they needs surgery? They don't move much, do they? No, but, but they look good. With surgery, it's Look at you. Thing. You are a sad case. <laughs> you really are. But how many women make this mistake? Mm. You know, you think, you get up in the morning, and you think, oh, God, I've got to go off to work, boring clothes, work clothes. And... I'll put on a sexy bra. Hey, hey that'll make me feel better. Mm. But the sexy bra does so much damage mm -hmm. to the overall impact of a clean corporate line or any line, and especially when you wear it with a white T-shirt like this, because not only have you got the black showing through, but you've also got all the lumpiness yep. of the lace. So even if it was flesh-coloured lace, the same thing would happen. So you've always got to wear proper t-shirt bra do. and you also you just look a bit dirty and slovenly you look like you've actually had a bit of a late night out got lucky and you've just changed your t-shirt but can we can we just get back yeah. to my breasts because i'm so i really feel comfortable but when i brush against you do they feel real yeah they do <laughs> the thing is if i was the man you were trying to pick up yeah and i got you in the sack uh -huh. i'd be so disappointed once i got your kit off I've got really flabby arms. They're horrible up here. Yes. I'm the same. I can't bear them. I cover it's them all awful. the time. It's awful. I hate it in the summer because I always want to wear strappy tops and my arms are just so big and horrible. So oh, I never shave my arms, never. I hate them. They're just far too fat. 
and how irritating is that it in is, summer? It is because you miss out on a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't particularly like my arms. I'd say you're pretty in proportion, honey. Uh, but wearing bright pink on your arms mm. makes me say hello to them. Okay. <laughs> The world of arms is made up of lookalikes and they're either for Popeye or for his soulmate Olive Oil. If you were in the right queue when they were doling out arms at birth, then you're an Olive Oil. If you weren't, well, Susanna, it's over to you. Thank you. So, if you are on my team, have I got the style solution for you? No longer do you have to be witnessed with your bat wings flapping in the wind. But don't go the way of Kelly Osborne. Just because you've got big arms, it doesn't mean you have to look like a transvestite. Remember, if you've got it, flaunt it. If you haven't, hide it. Try to avoid cock-ups like these. And they are almighty ones, Susanna. <laughs> oh no, look at me. What is that? I mean, that is just... Well, the thing is, okay, but this is the classic. Is this the cap sleeve moment? This is the cap sleeve moment. And what it's doing is because the, I've got, I'm very chunky right at the top here. I'm very muscular yeah. up here from a lot of riding. Mm -hmm. And it's hitting right at the worst place. So in the same way, you know, that you don't want a jacket bottom to hit you on the wrong widest part or of your a bum. Or skirt on your calves. Yeah, you don't want to do it on your arm. The yeah. same principles mm -hmm. apply. And that is... Oh, I just hate that top yeah, so much. Yeah, it's, it's not good. Really... And it's not even good on your boobs, so it's a double whammy. But that is strangulation on your arms, isn't no, it? No, but it's like I've got two elastic... I can't believe that. It's like I've got two elastic miles. Look, it's like, they're like sausages. My yeah. arms are tied sausages. Yeah. They're you being are Popeye. strangled. You are Popeye. Yeah, I am Popeye. Yeah. I am Popeye. That is... I mean, and it's painful as mm. well, and it's so irritating because so many of those pretty puffy top, sleeve tops I want to wear, yeah. but, if but you can't I can't pull it get on, my arm through the holes. If you can't pull it on, don't buy it. It really mm. irritates me. Well, lace, I think just lace is so busy, isn't it? I mean, that is... Is well, that why you've chosen it? It's well, so busy? yeah, because, I mean, it's actually a really rather gorgeous top. But the thing is, it's, it's the same with crochet. Lace and crochet are too bulky, and they mm -hmm. just bulk up the whole area. Yeah. And it's, there's too much going on. You've got to keep it clean and simple. Because it's quite loose, that top, but it's yeah. making you look... Even double as thick on your arms, actually. Yeah, yes. look. look at that side view, that's terrible. Yeah. The wheelie moment. Oh, the sleeveless. Sleeveless, well, I mean, that's <laughs> quite obvious, isn't it? It is, you know, I am sucked into a condom. It, it, it's, I'm just showing my arms. There's mm. too much of that flesh being exposed. And also what it's doing, because it's cutting there, you're seeing the kind of frayed elasticity yeah. of Can my arm. Say, underneath. I don't think it's appalling, appalling like the other ones, but what's... The worst thing about it is making your tits look even bigger. And a lot of women who have bigger arms have bigger boobs. Mm. And I think it, it doesn't help your whole shape. Mm. Should we look at some good ones now? All right. Okay. Oh, look at that relief. Yeah. Skinny armed girl. Or arms covered. Yeah, well, that's be. what it is. They're yeah. covered. Now, this is fantastic, this top, because the main thing about it is that we've got the fluted cuff. It's kind of very narrow at the top and it goes out. But also, it's a T-shirt top which isn't too clingy. And as soon as you get too clingy in a fine fabric, you see all the faults. And it's just like, it's moulding my whole arm. My arms are positively toned in that top. And they do. You're not exaggerating. It's very good. Good colour on you, too. Yes, I've got to buy that mm. top. You see, this is also very good if you've got big arms because a lot of people make the mistake of wearing a huge print and you need a little print to just kind of diffuse the width of your arm and it does manage to make it disappear because your arms there look much skinnier, mm. you know? So in a way that, you know, the, where the lace one was bad, this is good because it's in a smooth fabric so mm -hmm. you don't have the physical bulk. But like you say, it's kind of looking at my arm through a diffuser. Yep. It's brilliant. Now, I love this top, and it's like, there's the way to do the puff sleeve. But it's so simple. Just make sure that it isn't strangling the upper arm. Make sure it's loose. And the fact that it's loose and there's a little ledge coming out mm -hmm. makes my arm look skinny. It looks frail. In fact, it almost looks positively withered. Yeah, it's as thin as mine. Yeah. Really? Even thinner, nearly. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Isn't that amazing? Three-quarter length sleeve, really good, because what happens is, if you do cover to the thinnest part of your arm, then it gives the appearance that everything else is skinny. So you have got, you know, luckily for you, delicate wrists. Mm. And then you sort of feel, you know, you're just made to imagine the rest is as skinny. Mm, it's very good that. I mean, it's really interesting watching this because I'm thinking, I can now really see the things that work 
and the things that don't. You know, it's like, time, isn't now it? I know oh, what to oh, wear in the morning. Later. I'm going to put this in and remember, OK, I've got to get that top out. So what other things can you do, Suze? Good question, because it isn't just about clothes. It's about accessories as well. Yeah.